Hey, welcome to the Personal Development Center. Today uh, we have a guest, Laura. Um, Laura is a life coach, uh, a lawyer, and a mediator. Today I'm here with Julia Miller, uh, also a life coach, and she coaches in relationship, the area of relationship and dating. Mm -hmm. So we all have great uh, subjects that we coach on. But today we really want to concentrate on you, Laura, and what you do and um, how you really make an impact and help people uh, turn their life around. Yeah, my main focus is really helping people get over divorce. That is the, one of the most common questions that I see, and that's really where I just walk alongside, help people have the tools to do that, yeah. and really also, in, in, as a coach, help them to be a, a little bit accountable too, yes. because you know that's the, really the way that you move the needle. You know, you have that analogy with a, you know, a personal trainer. You right. know, they're the ones that help you to chart your progress, to help you to stay on on focus, stay on track, meet the goals that you want to right to achieve. So and sometimes, you know, when you're in a crisis situation or it, life is just turned upside down, it's like, okay, where do where do I get my sea legs here? Where do I, what is going to be my new normal? So yes. is that a question that you get often? Where uh, uh, People ask you, you know, where do I find my new life? How do I, how do I even navigate this new life? What do I do next? Yes, and actually, I, I talk a lot about that. Where to begin? You know, where do you start over? Yeah. You know, where are you starting over? Right. <laughs> and 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 so you know, a major part of that is really just creating their happy single life. Yes. You know, what does that look like? Even knowing that that's possible. Yeah. Because really, my core belief, my core principles mm -hmm. as a coach, really is. Um, helping my clients envision because I believe what you can see you create right, um, and you are what you believe and so I put those two things together to say you know what I am gonna we're gonna have a belief that we're already where we want to be we're just gonna come into agreement with heaven on that mm -hmm. and just say that's where we are and we are just right now saying okay you know there's a, there's a delta there's a gap between where I believe I am right. and where we are right here in the physical realm right. And so, you know, what does it look like when we deconstruct right. that bridge to, to, you know, always think that we're there, but what are the little steps that we need to do to make it, bring that down from heaven yeah. here on earth and, and really have that, that to materialize yeah. here. One thing you were saying just really struck me is, is I know when I went through it, too bad you weren't around then. Yes. <laughs> uh, when I went through it, it's, it's that you're really, um, you know, the word tells us that we're to have hope. God gives us a hope. So really bringing that into a perspective and during a time where you don't feel like you have it. Yes. Or it, it's, it's not visible in front of you. And so when you are envisioning, I think that's a valuable uh, aspect that you bring to the people that you talk to because hope is so necessary for us to move forward. I actually uh, saw that just a second ago is that Laura is really the conduit to pull somebody through to the other side. Yeah. Because uh, so often when... We're we need a lightsaber sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you need some, some flesh on it, yeah. yeah. Is that you're going through this and you're just praying, God, let me see the light at the end of the tunnel because it feels like it's never ending. Yeah. The, the misery or, or how difficult it, it seems at the time, especially if you have children yes. and, you're, and you're having to deal with um, co-parenting type situations mm -hmm. and you're, you're wishing, I, I just want to this situation, this conflict to be resolved, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I know I have to walk this out. You can't yes. avoid it. Yes. And so, really, I think, Laura, it's I see you that lifeline through yeah. coaching to yes. say, hey, mm -hmm. you know, I can see you're in the water treading, yes. and yeah. you're tired. Yeah. And so, let's throw a lifeline out to you, and so let's get you to the next shore. But yes. she paints you know, the picture of what that can look like, realistically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I think sometimes we have an unrealistic picture of what our life might be on the other side. So tell me how you bring your experience as an attorney in helping people navigate through it because it's so emotional. It is. And helping them to really steward their money wisely, steward their time and you know what to do in those cases. Yes and the, the important part for me that I really try to drill home with people that I work with mm -hmm. is really look at it or try to look at it as more of a transactional thing yeah. you know it really is business mm -hmm. um, and it, what your financial future looks like right. you know what does it look like as far as co-parenting yeah. um, really being able to try to come together and uh, come to an agreement on that because you know one of the famous uh, really well-known mediators here in Texas always says you know 
when you're going in and you're you're able to you know have a say in how things are going to go if you're going through mediation or be able to come to an agreement that's really the best you know the best thing because other than that you go before the judge it's like driving down the highway a hundred miles an hour yes. and throwing the steering wheel out of the window yeah. because you know you have no control mm -hmm. but at least you know if you're going to try to come to an agreement you have a say Absolutely. in how things go and another thing is, I, you know, I, it, it is very emotional, but I try to, to really impress upon my clients. Your feelings don't care about your future. Yes. They true. just don't. They just want to be met right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if, and it's not to say your feelings aren't important, because right. we, we do acknowledge them and, and work through them. Mm -hmm. But feelings um, are fickle, too. Yes, yeah, they can. Yes, they can be very fickle. You know, they can, you know, Who just was? run away with you. <laughs> yes. yes. And so... To really try to remain focused, because that's another thing. Because yes. when you're going through this type of trauma, mm -hmm. your brain starts to try to protect itself, and right. and your brain doesn't process information the way it normally does because it, it's just overwhelmed. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, I can you can sit down and talk to someone who's going through this, and a lot of times they're just not absorbing the information. And so you know, I can really see uh, the value of uh, coaching like you like you offer is because you know during those times where we're sometimes having to make decisions out of emotion and we haven't had a chance to heal yet yes. but the, the nature of the legal system and how it works we have to make some decisions and so it's it's good to have wise counsel yes you know to say hey let's really look at what the objective is here let's mm -hmm. let's acknowledge what's on your heart and we understand that there's hurt behind this but mm -hmm. you know in moving forward what are the steps that we need to take I think that's very valuable and what you offer that that's a tough time it is you know and that's really where my legal experience really comes into mm -hmm. play because you know I know the way that judges think about things you know we have these different bar functions every year a lot of times the judges will be also at these different functions they help us to look at the bigger picture and they, a lot of the other questions that I hear besides how to get through divorce is when am I ever going to feel normal again right that is such a yeah. common question and that really the cry of so many hearts out there and you know that's really a lot of what I what I help them to do is to, to understand you know hey you know this is what the landscape looks like this is what a lot of yeah. people feel like when they try to co-parent and realize to you know try to see the way that kids look at this because you know one of the things that I really drive home is kids don't want to try to figure out the split in loyalty because exactly. they're having to you know, spend time in two different households, and what does that look like? And them having to try to adjust to all that. A lot of times, yes. depending on how old they are, they may not have language they yet. Have their to own really... broken dreams. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yes, they have their own broken dreams, and they, they really sometimes don't have the language yet to really express themselves. It's, it's recognizing that there is aftermath, and we need healing, and we need yes. to give permission to grieve. Yes, absolutely. And so we kind of expect that new normal, right? Okay, well, we're done, right? Yes. This yes, and they come over here and try to date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm with you on that one. Yes. <laughs> and I think, you know, one of the things that's really valuable, if people are able to go through something like divorce care, mm -hmm. you know, they really yes. recognize that it is like a physical death. Yes. You are going through a grieving process and it's normal. Mm -hmm. um, it really helps them. Yes. But a lot of times what I've been hearing is some people have been going through divorce care two, three times um, because they just don't know where else to, to, yes. to go from there. They need that, you know, that, that extra step down between the divorce and then them getting themselves being able to be dateable and right. then becoming marriage ready, which yeah. is you know, what Julia right. really focuses on. Um, you know, they need that someplace in between. That's really where I come in and really help them to to get their arms around things and calm things down when the dust settles and really help them to get them uh, um, better skills as far as conflict resolution. Right. They can learn those things from me and they don't right. always need that even with their kids so or better even their than their former attorney. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Yes, absolutely, and and so that's where a lot of the a lot of my skill sets come in, mm -hmm. especially you know if you're dealing with a difficult ex or even just yes. a difficult time period where where there's a lot of misunderstanding. Right. Well, not only that, but there may be some really out of court solutions that are really that you're um, not even thinking of. Yeah, that yeah, and I help them think outside the box, and I know you know what what's really workable. And if God forbid they do end up back in court, you know, these are some of the things that you can do to help you right. um, if you find yourself there. But there are out-of-court solutions and things that, that you can do so you don't have to take off work. So you don't have to try to figure out how you can come up with another attorney's, you know, retainer fee, which right. could be thousands of dollars, 
you know, all those things. Tell us more a little bit about that. Like, how okay. do you set, how, if I was going through a divorce, what would I do to, what would be open to me? What options would, could I have through, through your practice? Okay. Um, well, there's, you know, three, three primary ways that you can work with me. Um, and if you, usually if you're still going through a divorce, you probably want to do the one-on-one. -on -one, yeah. Because um, there is a group option. I'll get to that in just a second. Um, but the, there's two ways that you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You could just, you know, purchase um, different sessions as you feel like you need them. Um, or you can have a 60-day package. If they have the 60-day the, the package, then you, it would be the email support. Um, there will also be what I call kind of like a mind map. You know, we're kind of map down and sit down and say, okay, you know, this is where the next steps that we're going to take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it really helps with accountability. Yes, I, I also have a, um, a group, a, a mentorship that I have, a group of ladies that, oh, that's um, awesome. that's, that we're working with. And um, we're so super happy. We have themes each month yeah. that we do. We have fun things that we do. Yesterday we just had game time when we, I, I posted a question in a video and they had to watch the video and figure out what the question was and then oh, play amazing. the game. And then you got a little... You know, a draw sense of community, and yes. somewhere to belong. Absolutely, they have a sense of community, and then we also have training videos. We also have my online school, which is called Come Out Stronger Academy. So those are really the ways that you know that clients can work with me. Realize that you can be happy again, that you can establish um, yourself. You can you can have that new normal, and your kids are going to be okay. I think I can think you could really take years off of your journey. Yes. Yes. By Absolutely. By getting with you. you know, speed I up mean, your it, it took me so many years that were unnecessary to, to come out of divorce. Or, or that, I that floundered a lot when I could have been moving forward. Exactly. exactly. I wasn't moving backwards, but I wasn't moving forward. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like you're treading water. Yeah. It feels like. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So, yeah. We're grateful for you. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.